Major push in places like Utah, where a potential spoiler is emerging, challenging both Clinton and Donald Trump for the state's six electoral votes. In the latest CBS News YouGov state poll, independent presidential candidate and Utah native Evan McMullen is tied with Clinton at 20 percent. Evan McMullen joins me now. Thanks so much for being here. Thank really you. appreciate it. Good Great to, to see you. you. We just heard that news conference with President Obama. I want to remind you of a little bit of what he had to say when asked about Trump's claims that the election is rigged. He said, I have never in my lifetime or in modern political history seen any presidential candidate trying to discredit the elections and the election process before votes have even taken place. It's unprecedented. It happens to be based on no facts. Your reaction and your response to Trump's making these claims. Well, first of all, I think because if there is any rigging of the election, it's what Russia mm. is doing by interfering, by, by conducting cyber attacks against the DNC. Obviously, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the DNC. I don't align with them. But, but I'll tell you what, I'm an American. And when I see a foreign power trying to undermine our democracy, I object to it and I call it out. That's Donald Trump is encouraging it. Important to remind our viewers, you served with the CIA. So you're mm. making this statement mm. with some authority, right? Oh, absolutely. Look, for those of us who come from the intelligence world, we see what Russia is doing and it's plain as day what they're trying to do. They're trying to uh, undermine Americans' faith in their political process, our faith in our political process, and also, I think, try to influence the election towards Donald Trump, who is aligned with Vladimir Putin, one of the most uh, destabilizing authoritarians in the world today. And something that President Obama was just commenting on as well. I want to talk yeah. to you about your yeah. race. Uh, a lot of folks see the race that you're running. You're very competitive in Utah, as we've just said. But in order for you to actually win, the only chance is that neither candidate would get 270 votes and then the race would get kicked to the House of Representatives. The only time that scenario has happened is twice in our entire history, the last time in 1824. So what do you say to critics who say that your campaign is purely symbolic, purely aimed at taking votes away from Donald Trump? Well, we object to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I firmly believe that the time has come in this country for a new generation of leaders. We see it in both of these candidates, both deeply corrupt, both self-serving. Donald Trump is, is a bigot, a misogynist who has divided our country, race against race, religion against religion. It's time for something new. So we're building that. It's important that we stood in this election to do that. Yes, we stood up with three months to go because it, the, the time was running out. I hoped somebody else would do it. They weren't going to do it in the end, so I got in. Do We're you have a realistic path, can. though? Well, as you pointed out, if the is very close. We could block both of them by winning Utah or Idaho or Wyoming. We can do that. But we understand that right now the race is not close. Hillary Clinton is dominating Donald Trump because he's such a, a terrible candidate in a vile, I think, uh, leader. You raise uh, the strength of Hillary Clinton's campaign. And even in your own state, she's gotten some endorsements from major newspapers, the Salt Lake Tribune. Are you seeking uh, endorsements? And have you spoken to someone like Mitt Romney? Do you think that he's someone who who would ultimately uh, endorse you? Well, you cited a poll that was a little bit old. The most recent Rasmussen poll actually has me pulling ahead of Hillary Clinton, neck and neck with Donald Trump. And we're rising very quickly there. Hillary Clinton is, has a, is about flat there in Utah, which is normal for a Democratic candidate. Uh, Donald Trump is declining quickly, so we're and we're on the we're on the upswing. So right, have you spoken to Mitt Romney? Uh, you know, Mitt can describe uh, his involvement in the in, in in the effort, but but I'll tell you, we're not depending on these endorsements. And I've seen, people have asked me, well, what about Congress? What about members yeah. of Congress? Are they going to endorse you? Look, the last thing I am going to do is turn to people who wouldn't stand up to Donald Trump in the primary and look for validation from them. I've invited them all to endorse me, uh, but we're not standing by for that. Uh, what we're doing is building and advancing extremely quickly at the grassroots level. You see it in the polls. You see it in our digital engagement. We're excited about that. Evan McMullen, thanks so much for being here. Great to see you. Thank you. And good luck to you. And we'll be